Hey guys! So, as I mentioned a few videos ago when I did the money lay, my little sister is graduating soon. I'm proud of her. Congratulations, Lizzie! I'm planning on being there to watch her walk the stage and to shower her with gifts afterwards. So I'm so excited. But speaking of gifts, I have some for her that I need to wrap. And I decided that instead of using store-bought wrapping paper, I would make some custom wrapping paper. But I wanted to make some kind of patterned stamp kind of thing using a rolling pin. And since I was going to be doing that, I figured I could film it and edit it and teach you guys how you can make one of your own. So let's get started. You'll need a rolling pin, measuring tape, adhesive backed foam sheets, a marker, scissors, paint, a foam brush, and paper. I'm using the packing paper that comes in packages sometimes. I'm kind of weird and I usually save it because you can reuse it for packing, but also you can use it for random crafts like this one. Measure around and across your rolling pin. You'll use these measurements to figure out the spacing of your design and how big to make it. I actually did this after I made my design and cut them out, but I would recommend doing this beforehand. I was cutting it close with how big my design was. I made a little stencil of the design I wanted to use with paper and cut it out, but you can skip this step if you want. Draw your design on the back of the foam, keeping in mind how big you want the design to be. Mine was about 4 inches wide and almost 3 inches tall. I actually did this side on the front first, but I realized the marker I was using to transfer would probably end up discoloring the paint whenever I went to roll the design out. I didn't actually test to see if it would, but I would say to avoid any chances of this, just draw on the back. Cut the pieces out. If you want to do something simple like stars or dots or something like that, you can actually find pre-cut sticky back foam pieces. Use the measuring tape to mark around the rolling pin in regular intervals. Since my foam pieces were 4 inches wide, I measured in and marked 4 inches from the sides. Then I kind of eyeballed and made horizontal marks in the middle of these marks. From those, I measured around half the diameter of the rolling pin, which was 4 inches for me. On this part of the rolling pin, I repeated the last steps again, measuring in 4 inches on the sides, eyeballing the halfway point, etc. Then halfway between these marks, I made a small mark, and at this part of the rolling pin, I marked the halfway point. And then I repeated this on the other side. For smaller or bigger designs, you'll want to evenly space them as much as possible along the rolling pin. Then just peel the backing off of the foam pieces and stick them in place. Once everything's in place, you can use it as a rolling stamp. I laid out some freezer paper, poured some paint onto it, and tried to roll the roller through it, but with this design it didn't work that well. I think if you had something that was placed closer together, it would work better. But I didn't, so yeah. If this method doesn't work out, you can use a foam brush to paint each piece of foam. I know it's a little tedious, but once you get a rhythm, it's not so bad. And when it's all painted up, just roll onto the paper. I got a lot of excess paint bits around the design because of my initial attempt at rolling the rolling pin through the paint, which caused a lot of the paint to get onto the actual rolling pin, and because my paper wasn't totally flat, but I was fine with that. It adds to the whole homemade aspect to it. If you want it to look cleaner, I would suggest just using the foam brush to paint onto each little piece of foam and using a paper that wasn't pre-crumpled like this packing paper was. You can see here that I tried to go over this spot where the paint faded out. I wouldn't suggest doing this obviously because you have to be really precise and it's hard to do that. So yeah, what I would suggest is doing what I eventually did, where I applied more paint as I rolled. It makes it a little bit slower, but like I mentioned earlier, once you kind of get a rhythm, then it's really not that bad. 
Then set it aside to dry, and then use it like normal wrapping paper. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you are interested in becoming a patron or just learning about what Patreon is, I'll leave a link up here and you can go check it out. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and Twitch, and I'll leave the information to all of those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.